It's the Big Kahuna. We're back at Pike Run Golf Club for our Pike Run Golf Tip of the Week. We've got golf pro Steve Ratcliffe with us. And, Steve, we've talked about the approach shot about 50 to 70 yards out. We talked about the longer shot about 150 yards out. Let's talk about trouble shots, uh, and particularly the way I play. I'm in the trees a lot. Uh, you've got a shot that might help somebody that finds themselves in this trouble? i got a great shot, very simple to do. Basically, it's going to be a low hook. You're going to hit it around trees and get it out uh, either in the fairway or on the green. So you're, you're, you're explaining a design hook as opposed to the one I normally hit when I, sh when I shoot a shot. It's, uh, it's definitely hopefully designed, and it's not an oops. Uh, is this a distance shot, or is this something that you're going to be doing uh, to try to get it back in play? Mainly just to get it back in play. Uh, the ball is going to fly low. Uh, it's going to have a lot of right-to-left spin on it, so it's going to hit and it's going to run. Uh, it's not something you're going to want to hit a long distance. It's mainly a trouble shot to get you back onto the golf course. And then when we're talking about a uh, problem when you're trying to get around a tree, how close are you going to be to the, uh, to the object that's going to be in your way? That's going to be uh, all depending on what club you have. You can do this with a 3-iron. You can do it with a pitching wedge. It's, uh, it's how high you want it and how far you want it to go. Uh, the longer clubs, you're going to be closer to the trees. Um, as you practice this at the driving range, you're going to find out how far you want to hit it. But again, it's an individual shot based on what club you use and how hard you swing. Right. Correct. It's kind of an unusual stance, an unusual lineup. Uh, when you take your stance, you normally, if we lay these two clubs down, you're going to have basically railroad tracks with your feet and your club lined up where you want the ball. In this, you're going to want to line up your feet directly to the right of your target. You're going to want to line up your club directly left, which is a crisscross, basically. As the club makes contact with the ball, it's going to put a lot of outside side spin on it, and the ball is going to go out and to the left. Once again, as, as we hit this trouble shot, it's going to be a low hook around trees to get you back out into play. As you your, take your setup, take your normal stance from there, take your club and point it to where the ball, where you want the ball to end up. So basically, you're hooding the club like, like so. From there, point your feet directly to the right where the back, your back is almost to the target. It's kind of an odd stance. Boy, it's against everything you ever want to do as far as your stance is concerned. And then from here, just take your normal swing. And the ball is going to hook every time. Okay, Kahuna, take your normal stance like you normally do. Set the club back down behind the ball. From there, point the club, turn the club in to where you want the ball to end up. It's almost going to be pointed straight at your left foot. Good. Now take your feet and your whole stance and turn right to have your back almost to the target. Yep, get your hands right there. And then from there, take your normal swing. The ball is going to go out and turn left without any effort at all. Again, the crazy thing about this is it feels like you're going to hit it back and hit your shin. Turn the club in just a little bit more. There you go. Yep, over-exaggerate. Perfect. That's what you need to do. All right, there you have it. A quick tip on how you can get around trouble. If you find yourself behind a tree and you're trying to get back into the uh, play, that's a great shot to use. The trick here, Steve, is to make sure you, you hit a normal shot, normal swing, and you let the club and your stance make the difference for you. Correct. You line up your club left to where you want the ball to end up. You line your feet well right, basically put your back to the target, and make your normal swing. Don't try to manipulate the club. Just the club hitting the ball, the aerodynamics of the ball spinning will get the ball to go out there and turn left, get you right around a tree and back into play. All right, now you're getting these great tips. Now you need to go out and play. Steve, if somebody wants to come out and make uh, uh, tea time, what's the best way to do? Can they call? They can call directly here is 419-538-7000, or they can get onto our website, which is uh, www.pikerungolf.com, and you can book a time directly on our website. And the other thing is, uh, a lot of guys get hung up on equipment uh, if they've got questions about maybe what uh, kind of ball they can use. The pro shop is set up, and you can take care of anybody's needs, whether it's clubs or whether it's uh, any other uh, accessory items when it comes to getting out on the golf course. Absolutely. We have a full-line pro shop. We, uh, we sell all the major brands. We can order stuff in. Anything you want, we have available. All right, Steve, we appreciate your time once again. That's this week's golf tip, getting you out of trouble. And, again, don't forget – Pike Run Golf Course, the place to do it.